How's it going guys? So this is spring break for me. Um, so I've been planning on spending most of my time out at the shop, just getting everything done. Um, and I wanna try kind of like a daily update thing. Uh, the videos throughout the week are gonna be more like, all right, so this is what I've done today. Um, I'm not gonna really film a whole lot because it is, you know, we are still just working on wiring. Um, and also I'm shooting this with a different camera. Um, just because I left the normal like vlog rig at home because uh, I hadn't really planned on doing this like this wasn't something until I was on my way here this morning that I was like oh let's 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 give this daily uh, upload thing kind of a shot um, so let me give you a quick update we didn't record yesterday which would have been Saturday I know like probably in the upload schedule it seems like it because we uh, like I haven't even edited the video that came out yesterday yet so um, but Michael's been busting away on the coop. Uh, he's got this wiring harness here. And it's just a, a mess. Um, he was going through, kind of sorting through all the individual, um, sorting through all the individual circuits so he could get it routed in the valley exactly how he wanted. Um, I was working on the wiring for my car. We started off with getting the switch panel wired. I'm not uh, I'm not exactly stoked on how it looks on the back, but it turned out really well. Uh, let me show you. So I wish that these were a little more, a little tighter, but it, it's gonna route up here and there'll be a, a connector on the end of this. It'll come up and plug into the, the dash harness, which is gonna be <clears throat> right up here. here it'll be pretty much sit right there um, this is parse most of that harness actually and it'll kind of uh, I know you guys can't really see but kind of loop around come out up here um, and then I know you really can't see it right now but <clears throat> we got the like half of the fuse panel all wired up um, and I'm gonna be working on the rest of that today <clears throat> getting this thing all wired up. I started it last night, but I was just cold and I uh, didn't want to keep going. So, so we got a lot done. Um, there's still a lot to do. Um, I keep thinking I'm almost done with my harness, but in reality, I've still probably got another two or three days to go in at it. Um, I also got the steel to, uh, make my harness bar. Uh, so that's on the, on the docket for this week. Um, and maybe a bash bar. I don't think we'll get to that, but it's kind of like the game plan. Um, trying to keep myself busy. I want to have a lot of projects. If by some means I get all of that done, we're pulling this motor out and start prepping the bay to get it painted. Um, same thing with the interior. So we've got a lot of projects that I can be doing this weekend, but uh, it's just going to be a matter of time. So that's pretty much going to be our daily update for Saturday, which was yesterday for us. Um, now that we're into Sunday, I'm going to go ahead and get started on things and like just sitting here thinking about it I don't know how I'm gonna film this you know I don't know how the audio is gonna sound I don't know how any of this is gonna work um, because this is kind of a first time I'm just literally holding our camera like a GoPro um, handheld so it might be all shaky and shit and um, but it might not be it might turn out okay I don't know how the audio is gonna be so this is just a test um, I know a lot of people say that they made their YouTube careers by doing dailies. I'm not. I'm not trying to make a YouTube career. I mean, it'd be awesome and all, but not the focus right now. And I'm not going to be doing dailies all the time. I just want to give it a shot since I've got spring break here, and why not? So let's. Uh, I'm going to clean up my mess a little bit, and then we'll dive right into uh, getting this thing, this wiring harness done. <laughs> Alright, so we got our workspace all cleaned up, ready to go. Um, I'm going to go ahead, get this thing all wired up, and uh, I'll show you guys what we end up with. Alright, well we've got this all 
routed. I have to figure out how long this wire needs to be still, but um, I had to take this out to do that. So I wanted to show you guys kind of what, uh, what I had so far. So we got uh, five relays. This one was a different relay, so I just used it for uh, start power. Um, it's just not, it's just gonna go to the switch and then go to the starter. Um, but I wanted that to be fused and at least now I get to have my starter fuse in there. Um, I'm doing the same thing in here. I'm just not going to use it. Um, I'll just run that to probably constant hot so that uh, like for like the ECU and, and stuff like that. So I have to figure out how long that wire is going to be because it's going to come and wrap back around and go to here. Uh, kind of like this other red wire. So this will be start and then this will be constant hot and then we'll run everything we need off of that. Um, and then I just gotta clean this up a little bit, finish routing these. Then we'll get to working on the, uh, cause this is like for all the switches and the grounds and everything. And then there's the power in. Uh, so we'll work on that, uh, getting everything routed up for that. All right, so I wanna give you guys just a quick update. Um, I actually finished the first relay box here. We got it all wrapped, coming out. Nice, that's, disregard the trash. Uh, I'm working on the second one, getting it all wrapped up and cleaned up. Uh, this stuff is actually pretty sick. Um, you know, like the Chinese finger traps? That's what this is. It's just, uh, I know it is Tech Flex. Um, I got them on Amazon for like 13 bucks for a, a 100 foot spool. And uh, it makes your harness look so good. Like, look at that. I'm going to finish up that box. We'll get that installed. I'm still waiting on my connectors. They should be here, oh, tomorrow probably. Uh, maybe the day after. Uh, I think they're coming Monday, but uh, Amazon, so shouldn't be. It'd be Monday or Tuesday. We'll get the, uh, the rest of this finished up and get this uh, uh, fuse thing situated. Fuse panel bolted in and everything. Um, and then we'll start around power wires. All right, there we go. So then we got three strands that come off. Uh, this one here is gonna be the primary switch panel that's already wired into the dash. Uh, this is our power. We're gonna get a two pin plug on that. It's gonna go to our battery kill switch. And this one is our auxiliary switch panel, which I haven't made yet, but it's gonna be in the glove box. Um, and it's gonna be for like rad things like the stereo, uh, like strobe lights and underglow and all that fancy hot boy shit. Um, stuff that I don't need access to like while I'm driving. Just wanna show you guys what we're looking at. So there's the install. Super clean. Our lines kind of come up here, there, up here, over. This is kind of where all our connectors are going to be. Uh, be four of them is what I'm thinking. And yeah, so that's what we're at. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on routing the uh, power cables that are going to go down to the main battery cutoff and they'll come up here kind of about like that run down and over and up alrighty guys it is 5 12 um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up and take off I think tomorrow we're gonna we'll either work on getting the uh, cluster all wired up or I might start on fabbing up the harness bar I'm a little strung out on wiring. I've been doing it for like three days straight, so I'm kind of bored. Um, but we got uh, got a lot done. Uh, this is all wired up and wrapped and everything. We got a connector on it. I had to go with a four pin because the two pins that we had weren't weren't quite right. But I figure this way I can wire some more stuff up here if I need to. I've got some open slots. I have some open slots on these because I ordered a ten pin too, and there's only eight wires that go through it, so we'll be good um we also have to wire and make up the the switch panel for inside the glove box um we'll take care of the cluster maybe tomorrow 
And then inside the car, we got this all done today, which turned out super nice. I'm super, super pleased with it. I want to thank all of you guys for tuning in. Uh, we're trying to do dailies this week, so check back tomorrow. I'm sure I'll have a video up. I also want to say thank you real quick to all our new subscribers. We've gained like 30 subscribers in the last like month or two. Um, and we really appreciate it. We appreciate all the old subscribers helping us reach out to those new subscribers by liking the video, uh, subscri subscribing for themselves, commenting and all of that. Also sharing helps. Um, so we encourage you guys to keep doing that. We absolutely love getting feedback. So comment down below if uh, how you guys think the, the wiring is coming along. If you think there's something that I could have done better, just, just let me know because I'm super pumped. Uh, that's actually kind of one of the things that Michael would like to do. Michael and I would like to do with Thrash Chassis is kind of turn it into a custom wiring business. Uh, since we both kind of have a passion for it and a vision. Um, but that's, that's kind of like back burner. Right now it's about having fun and getting these cars done. So again, tune back in tomorrow because we're doing daily uploads this week. It is spring break. Hoo-yah. Later. Later.